Good morning, everyone. I'm Jamie Rome, Storm Surge Specialist here at the National Hurricane Center to explain some of the new Storm Surge products that we'll have available for you this hurricane season on hurricanes.gov. And we'll start with the first one here on the top. This is the, the new potential storm surge flooding graphic. It became operational this hurricane season as of today. Um, this has been an experimental mode for the last two years, but now it's becoming a permanent uh, component of our pro product suite here at Hurricane Center. Now what this product is telling you, it's not telling you the expected storm surge, it's telling you the potential storm surge. Right here, potential, the most important word in this graphic, potential storm surge. It's telling you how high the water could get if the storm comes in right at high tide and it comes in at just the right angle and it has just the right intensity. So the way to, again, the way to um, interpret that is, is the potential of how high the water could get above land if all the conditions come in just right. Now, the other thing that's important to note about this, this is above ground. This is depth of water above ground. This is not depth of water above a, a vertical datum or high tide. This is depth of water above ground. And then it is broken down here by color with warmer colors indicating progressively deeper or higher water above ground, starting with the blue. This is one to three feet above ground. Then you go to the yellow, which is three to six, orange, six to nine, and nine is, is or the red here is, is greater than nine feet above ground. So that's how you interpret it. There's a couple of new things we've added to this um, based off comments we received from our customers. Uh, two things here. This gray block here is the intertidal zone or estuarine wetland. Um, or in layman's terms, that is the area that is normally wet under high tide, meaning this, is, this gray area is the uh, areas that are routinely wet by normal high tide. Or this is areas where people don't normally live, or at least we hope they don't live. And so this helps the eye focus on flooding over populated areas. In the old graphic before this, this would have uh, colors on it which would be very distracting and miscommunicate the risk. In the new one, you, you have the option of either turning that off or on. So on the website, you, you can turn that off or on. The other thing we want to talk about here is levied areas. Right here, the levied areas. It is impossible to predict um, overtopping of levees or levy failure. Um, so in this case, we have to refer to local officials or local emergency managers regarding the flood risk inside levees. Now, a product, another product, a second product, which does convey the risk inside levees is the storm surge watch and warning. So you're all familiar with hurricane watches or warning, been around for decades. But uh, we're in the final stretch of developing a new storm surge watch warning. So it would be a warning for, for specifically for storm surge. Now this product can, in the event of levy failure or levy overtopping, it can communicate uh, risk inside the levy protected area. So this is your product for communicating or, or, or receiving information about flood risk inside the levied area. This one is not. The potential um, storm surge flooding graphic will not convey risk inside the levee. The storm surge watch warning graphic will convey uh, risk inside the levee. Now, outside of the levee areas, how do you interpret this thing? Well, it's, it's really straightforward. If you're in this pink area, it means uh, the National Weather Service uh, predicts a, a significant enough chance of life-threatening, life-threatening storm surge that you need to protect yourself. Um, it doesn't have depths in it, that the, the potential storm surge flooding graphic has depths in it. This is either yes or no. You're either in a warning or you're not in a warning. So the way to look at this, if you're in this pink area, you have a, a significant enough chance of life-threatening conditions that you need to do something to protect yourself. So these are the two new graphics that we have available for you this hurricane season. Hurricanes.gov, you can go there and get them at any time. This one is now operational or permanent. This one is still experimental, one more year experimental. So next year at this time, hopefully we'll be telling you about the operational storm surge watch warning. I'm Jamie Rome with the National Hurricane Center.